We're talking to job creators and job seekers and we're missing the vast majority of American households which are job holders. And the way job holders look at the economy is very different. The 2016 candidate who will do the best on the economy in my view is the one who can really talk to job holders about economic angst and frustration. People are saying, whoa, I'm not worried about losing my job, thank God, I'm not worried about replacing a lost job. But in my household, we have two and three jobs, and it's not enough. So unlike when your grandfather had a job, or my grandfather had a job, and he can support his whole family, take a nice station wagon vacation at the end of the summer, the house, everybody's clean, fed, happy. Why, his one job was enough. Why are our two and three not enough? We don't feel like we live a luxurious lifestyle. Why do we work, we're always tired, we're always rushed, and yet, at the end of each month, we're white knuckled about which bills to pay. And those folks are really, they talk about the cost of <clears throat> tuition or student loan vouchers, and they talk about the cost of rent and mortgage, the cost of food and fuel. But I think we need to talk to the job holders. And if you ask me to wave my magic wand and pick one demographic group on which the Republican Party, the conservative movement, could and should improve over the next several years, I wouldn't pick Hispanics, very important. I wouldn't pick Asians, very important. I wouldn't pick women, that would make me a billionaire. Everybody comes to me about women, that would be great. But in honesty, I couldn't do that. Because the number one group are white working class voters. Used to be called the Reagan Democrats, blue, co blue, -collar, Democrat, blue collar Democrats, blue collar workers. As long as President Obama's been in there, um, white working class uh, voters have been a little bit volatile, but in 2014 they favored Republicans enormously. And for them, they, they, they reside in these Rust Belt states that have been elusive, and the Rocky Mountain states and some of the southern states that have been elusive to Republican candidates.